When it comes to the top 10 places to visit in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, you've clicked on the right click. Based on a myriad of reviews and published testimonies, you're about to discover all the key points of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. When the Milwaukee region is conveniently in your proximity, here's the best sites to see. When you're craving culture, art, family-friendly excursions, tipsy tours, and tranquility, Milwaukee can suit your mood. And why would you doubt it? Even Giannis Antetokounmpo got a taste of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and committed his entire career to the city. Now that's loyalty. So here's 10 places to visit when in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Number 10. Religious Sites in Milwaukee Regardless if you follow the faith or not, Milwaukee's religious sites emit a divine atmosphere just via their extraordinary architecture and deep roots in history. Basilica of St. Josephat, for the first example, epitomizes the striving of early Polish immigrant. This landmark of ethnic heritage also radiates spiritual devotion and patriotic pride. The first Poles arrived in Milwaukee in the 1840s, but their numbers did not become significant until after the Civil War. By the late 1800s, Polish immigrants were streaming into Milwaukee by the thousands. It didn't take long until they became the second largest ethnic group in the nation's most German city. In 1866, 30 Polish families established St. Stanislaus Parish on Milwaukee's south side as the first urban Polish parish in the United States. And today, the building still stands as an impressive house of worship. The next grand house of worship worth visiting is St. Joan of Arc Chapel, the heart of the campus. Located in the center of the Marquette University campus with its mix of modern and vintage educational buildings, St. Joan of Arc Chapel remains a centerpiece with reverbs of medieval France. Though it is by far the oldest structure in Milwaukee, the Gothic St. Joan of Arc Chapel, which dates to the early 15th century, is the oldest structure in Milwaukee, and it acts as the heart of this Catholic Jesuit university. The third religious structural masterpiece you must visit is the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church. It was designed by architect Frank Lloyd Wright in 1956 and completed in 1961. Listed on the National Register of Historic Places, the church is one of Wright's last work. Construction was completed after his death. He surely left his legacy. The design is clued up on traditional Byzantine architectural forms, reinterpreted by Wright to conform to the modern context. If you're an avid follower of Wright's legacy buildings, you'd now be able to notice that the church's shallow scallop dome echoes his Marin County Civic Center. Number 9. Theaters in Milwaukee The Riverside Theater, named for its location along the Milwaukee River, is one of the most opulent of Milwaukee's theaters. Welcoming high-caliber artists ranging from Kevin Hart and Neil Young to Nora Jones and Aretha Franklin, spectators are bound to view unforgettable performances. Next, you'll want to discover the Pabst Theater. The Pabst Theater is the showpiece of Milwaukee's downtown theater district, and it's able to accommodate virtually all performing art forms with the stunningly beautiful backdrop of a European opera house. Milwaukee Oriental Theater is the next must-stop on the theater list. It was designed to feel like a temple of Oriental art, the Oriental Theatre was conceived of by the Milwaukee architecture firm Dick & Bauer and constructed by Sachs Amusement Enterprises in 1927. With design elements borrowed from Indian, Moresh, Islamic, and Byzantine architectural styles, the Oriental Theatre's eccentric East Indian-inspired aesthetic resulted in 2,000 yards of lush textiles, faux teakwood ceiling timbers, intricate tile floors and pillars, onion-domed minarets, a porcelain-paneled entrance, and a stately terracotta balustrade atop of the theater roof. In addition to these East Indian architectural features, guests of the Oriental will find a pastiche of design elements that contribute to the theater's extravagant ambiance. This superb mood features three eight-foot chandeliers hanging from the ceiling and eight porcelain lions that don the staircase to the balcony. On top of that, numerous hand-painted murals of the Taj Mahal and other giants of Eastern architecture line the walls. Even the smallest details are elaborate as countless mythological creatures can be found in the plasterwork. It's kind of like a treasure hunt because hundreds of elephants are hidden throughout the interior. And enormous statues of the Buddha with bright green eyes live inside the decorative bays in the main theater. Number 8. Breweries in Milwaukee Lakefront Brewery is the first outstanding brewery on the list. According to brewery president Russ Klisch, the whole brewery started with his brother Jim. Near his birthday, Jim expressed interest in beer making, and Russ humored him with the gift of a home brewing book. To Russ's surprise, Jim read the book and actually brewed a beer. By Russ's account, Jim was no gourmet cook, but he did make a decent ale. 
Impressed and wanting to show up his brother, Russ opted to brew one of his own. The wholesome fun of sibling rivalry led to both brothers entering home brewing contests and winning awards. Shortly after that, family and friends cheered them on to capitalize. After choosing a cozy hotspot near their home, which was a former bakery in Milwaukee's River West neighborhood, they began brewing with 55-gallon stainless steel drums and used dairy equipment. By 1987, they had sold their first barrel of beer to a tavern within rolling distance of the brewery. From there, lakefront production grew with their popularity. Miller Brewery has over 150 years under its belt. And unlike some of the other breweries on the list, Miller is known nationwide, if not worldwide. But many were unaware that Milwaukee serves as home to the Miller Brewing Company, as well as the Mobcraft Beer Brewery, which has taproom where flagships and crowdsourced beers are available. The spacious taproom boasts views of the brew house and comes complete with entertainment such as foosball, shuffleboard, outdoor seating, and more. Number 7. Architectural Buildings If your mood is bent on prioritizing the best of the batch just based on architecture, then you'd be wise to head to the choices previously mentioned including the Basilica of St. Josephat, St. Joan of Arc Chapel, the heart of the campus at Marquette University, as well as the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church. But here's the additions not yet mentioned, yet finally revealed. The Villa Terence Decorative Arts Museum began with Lloyd Raymond Smith and his wife Agnes. To create their dream house, the Smiths hired the renowned architect and Milwaukee native David Adler to build their dream home. The idea to build a home in the style of a 16th century northern Italian villa came as the young heavily in love couple went on a trip to Italy after their marriage in 1915. When they set foot on the lakefront property, they said, let Lake Michigan be my Mediterranean. Aside from the original name being Sopra Mer, which is Italian for above the sea, the entire manor was built in memory of the Italian romance shared between the lovers. It's noted in the history books that Agnes wanted to build a unique house that reflected her love of architecture and design. Today, Villa Terrace and its Renaissance Garden are zoned as Milwaukee County Parkland, and it serves locals and faraway visitors with regional and international visual and decorative arts and a wide range of intergenerational community arts programming that includes theater, music, arts and crafts, creative writing, poetry, and gardening. Next, for the architecture enthusiast, you'll want to head to Turner Hall Ballroom, which has the perfect backdrop for a eclectic mixes of shows catering to all ages, cultures, and ideas. Number 6. Museums in Milwaukee After you've had your fill of architecture, the next fix of culture and fun will lead you to the Museums of Milwaukee. The first popular site is the Harley-Davidson Museum, a museum dedicated to the best motorcycles in the world. Enough said. For more culture, visitors have been known to frequent the Jewish Museum Milwaukee and the Old South Side Settlement Museum and the Artesia Gallery. For adult fun, the Brew City MKE Beer Museum and Beer Bar is one for the photo album books. And that mutually goes for the Milwaukee Fire Museum. Number 5. Kid Friendly in Milwaukee the kiddies are typically not into architecture, religious sites, and breweries. But Gorman Museum will definitely tickle their funny bone and give you reports of a wonderful time. Yes, it's true. The Gorman Museum is home to the world's most comprehensive art collection dedicated to the evolution of human work. But don't let that fool you. The kids will love it. Number 4. Points of Interest Earlier mentioned, Frank Lloyd Wright designed several architectural works of art. The first point of interest is his American system built homes. The unique community was designed between 1911 through 1917 and motivated by his lifelong interest in affordable housing. The next points of interest consists of the historical Third Ward, Black Cat Alley, and Brady Street. Number 3. Landmarks in Milwaukee Aside from the Turner Hall Ballroom located within Turner Hall and National Historic Landmark, the Milwaukee Federal Building and U.S. Courthouse is a great landmark to meet loved ones and plot further tours. Same goes for Old World 3rd Street, the Bronze Fawns, City Hall, and of course, Brady Street or Black Cat Alley. Number 2. Skip the line venues For those who can't stand lines or simply ain't got time for that, take advantage of Skip the Lines venues which allow you to dictate your pace for a tour. Harley-Davidson Museum admission ticket comes with an audio-guided option. And that goes for several other venues, including Groman Museum and the on-campus tours of the Milwaukee School of Engineering. Number 1. Private and Custom Tours in Milwaukee When you want your cake and you want to eat it too, a customized private tour is waiting for you. The best consists of Milwaukee Secret Food Tour, the Grand Walk, which is a self-guided audio tour through Milwaukee, 
and the ghostly private tour of Milwaukee. Now that you're aware of the greatness of Milwaukee's sights, when are you headed there next? And if you've already been there or have status as a seasoned vet of the region, what other places do you recommend? Comment down below.